Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Saga of the Phoenix, a Hong Kong fantasy action horror film from 1990 that was directed by Nagai Choi Lam. And it is a sequel to his last film, Peacock King, which came out just a year or two before. And I also recently reviewed that on my channel. A sacred girl of hell, played by Gloria Yip, enjoys some time on Earth when she fiddles with some sacred Buddhist artifacts and unleashes some evil stuff. She upsets the gods, whereby she is sentenced to live a life in a sacred statue with no chance of sunlight. She refuses to go, instead opting for a death sentence, but is granted seven last days on Earth before having to meet that fate. Upon arriving on Earth, the Queen of Hell plots to steal her life force and use it to destroy all humanity. Meanwhile, the girl has some Muppet friend who falls down a pit, so she and her guardians go in to save it. That's your plot synopsis. So multiple cast members do return for this sequel, but Gloria Yip is the only one that gets a real significant role. Yun Byu shows up for a while, but then he disappears for a while, so he's more of like a supporting character here. I'm not sure if he had scheduling conflicts or what, but this decision does not make a whole lot of sense in my opinion. His character could have been easily a co-lead, so I'm confused as to why his role was limited. Hiroshi Mikami does not return. He's replaced by Hiroshi Abe, one of my favorite actors. He gets a lot of screen time, which is nice to see. Keita Amemiya returns to do some of the special effects. There's a lot of dark fantasy atmosphere early on, especially. There's a scene with walking statues and zombies that's pretty cool. There's another great fireball explosion scene in this. And I like the introduction to the, the Hell Queen, I guess you could call her, who's, who's drenched in sweat on her throne. I just like the whole imagery. It was pretty cool. And the final monster in the film is pretty awesome looking. Great design on that demon monster thing, whatever it's called. Definitely a highlight of the film. There's also a little monster called Genie. He's created by using puppetry and stop motion effects. Some reviewers out there really hate this thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, you read reviews and, and people hate Genie. Uh, word on the street is that Genie was added to pander to a younger audience. I could definitely see that. And I can under understand the hate that this little critter gets. It's pretty stupid looking. But watching super cute Gloria Yip play with this cute little Muppet monster, it just kind of warms my heart and makes me smile. <laughs> so yes, I do like Hell Girl's Muppet friend, as they call him. Uh, we also get some little bonuses, bells and whistles. There's some nice locales, environments, architecture. Gloria rides an elephant at one point. You know, there's, some, there's enough stuff to keep you interested. Now, I have not seen Saga of the Phoenix in years, and its flaws were a little bit more apparent to me during this viewing. In terms of entertainment value, the opening third of this film is pretty strong. All right, and then we refocus on like a new character, different character, some girl who works for the Research Center for Advanced Modern Technology. And uh, she quickly kind of teams up with our other leads in Hong Kong as part of their continued adventure. Now, the problem with all of this is that the random side plots during the middle section are mostly just filler material. I mean, you're talking like 20 to 30 minutes of just, just utter nonsense. You know, uh, shenanigans, as I like to call them. Mostly played for comedic effect. Some of it is entertaining. Other scenes are kind of lame. Uh, this movie does not drive its plot forward, and that's the that's its biggest problem. Putting Yun Byu on ice for the entire middle section, like I said, questionable decision. And there are also fewer set pieces in this film when compared to Peacock King. Thankfully, like I said, the finale, the battle with that monster is really entertaining. But we needed, I think, a stronger middle section to kind of elevate this film to the same level as Saga of the Phoenix. But again, I do enjoy the movie overall. It's not as good as Peacock King, with more dead weight in terms of filler, but it's certainly unique enough <laughs> and entertaining enough to hold my attention. But remember, I'm, I'm a big fan of like cheesy nonsense like this. So if you're a more demanding viewer, you need to be a bit more cautious with these films you know if you think it's up your alley like this type of thing you know check out peacock king first since it's the predecessor if you like that then you could check out saga of the phoenix all right but this is not like a, a classic or anything in my opinion it's currently available on region a blu-ray and as always we will see you next time